Hello, welcome to part six of me cooking Albanian dishes. So to give you some background if you're new, I'm an American who's living in Toronto, Albania, and while we were in lockdown here, I tried to cook burek. Honestly, it didn't go too well, but since then I've tried to cook petula, flea, peace bleed, and trileche, and they gradually got better. So today for part six, I'm going to try to cook pastiche. I'll cook pastiche traditionale, I think that's how you say it, um, which is a dish with pasta, eggs, cheese, and milk. All the things which I like very much. And yeah, it's gonna be fun. Um, if you do enjoy this video and you want to request what I cook next, uh, follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Um, I'll usually give a heads up before I do these types of videos and I like to see what people recommend I make next. Okay, let's get started. So as usual, I'll be following a tutorial for this cooking video. Um, once again, it is in Albanian, so hopefully I'll learn some Albanian along the way too. Um, if you do want to try to cook pastiche on your own, you can just go to my description and I will put the video I'm using right there. So these are the ingredients. I have milk, olive oil, uh, cheese, which is like cottage cheese, eggs, pasta, salt, and then I need a bit of parmesan as well, so probably I'll find some somewhere. I don't know. The first step is very simple. I'm just going to cook some pasta and put a little bit of salt in there as well. Okay, the water is close to boiling. I need to put in a spoonful of salt. Some salt. Cool. Uh, I need to uh, break the pasta probably into thirds. 500 grams of spaghetti. No, that's not gonna work. Oh, dude. Okay, let's make the mixture. Um, gonna do three eggs. Three eggs, done. 50 milliliters of olive oil. Um, I'm going to try to estimate this. I have no idea how much 50 milliliters is. And now we use uh, four spoonfuls of cheese. One, two, three, four. By the way, there are different kinds of pasticcia, so this is just, uh, I think, the traditional version of milk and cheese or milk and eggs but I'm sure there are a lot of other ways to do it um, so we'll see how this one goes and now I need to add one liter of milk got the cheese the eggs the milk and the olive oil all in here add some of the pasta first Uh, maybe most of it will fit, actually. Uh, uh, that's most of it. I'll see how much I can add. Now I need to pour the liquid in. So, let's see. Uh, okay. I mean, I think I can probably do all of it. Basically, I just throw it in for 30 to 40 minutes. I still don't have a temperature setting on my oven, so I'm just gonna go by feel. It's kind of heavy. So I'll check back in 30 minutes. Hopefully, it'll be done. Right. So I actually have to put it back in again um, because it doesn't look like the uh, the mixture on the bottom is cooked, or is baked all the way through. But now it looks good. Alright, so uh, the pastiche has cooled off a bit. I'm gonna cut it up and give it a taste test. Um, as soon as I put the knife in, I think I'll know whether it's cooked all the way through. But we'll see. Uh, no, this might be a fail. Let's see. 
basically like I clearly I didn't cut the pasta uh, small enough so but I'll still taste it I don't know I, I would consider it like the, the texture to be a fail <laughs> I mean I'm just eating I'm just eating like spaghetti with the sauce at this point mm. it tastes really good I mean as you would expect it's just pasta milk cheese and eggs but no like it, it really I don't think it should be breaking apart like this so basically I let it cool a bit I'm gonna see if when I cut it it sticks together better now that it's cool okay so this is a little better this is a bit more of what it's supposed to be again the pasta I, I just kept the pasta way too long though um, so next time I won't rip it with my hands I'll actually uh, cut it into smaller pieces. There we go. Okay, so we got a close up. Yeah, um, I think this looks better, I mean, than the first piece. I would still consider this like not the best result. I think probably it's my worst one since the Breck. Um, the Breck was a really bad, the one I made. But this tastes great, just, I, I don't know, I, I feel like I messed up with the the pasta a lot. Um, so that is it for part six. Um, I should be doing another another dish very soon. So look forward to that. Um, thank you for watching. All right, bye.